So I'm sure that's what he's interested in, one of the females, and that's why he's walking. But look how he's striding. He hasn't stopped walking in that general direction the whole morning. And when we were off air, actually, he almost tried roaring. I think it was a bit of a just calling the brother and be like, okay, come on. And now I believe the other brother is not too far behind. But like I said, we are pretty much on the boundary, very close to Twin Dams now. So these guys, I'm sure they're going to cross over. But what a way to start the morning. Are you going to roar, boy? I know you want to. Come on. Boo. Gorgeous. Okay. following the path. Ooh. Hello pretty boy, maybe your brother is somewhere around here, I'm not sure. Not yet. Now he's been walking quite a lot, I wonder if he's gonna actually stop for a drink at the dam. I think you should. That would be amazing for all of us. Just don't wanna go too quickly along the damn wall just in case he does not go that way. Busy. What do you say, Seb? Damn wall. Mm. Damn wall. Okay, cool. Then let's go over. Again, I have felt like a Formula One driver the whole morning, and Dad would be proud of me. <laughs> oh my god. And of course, they're already like. Okay, guys. There we go. Yes, come and drink, beautiful boy. How is that for a perfect winter morning? Crispy water, beautiful sunlight, and a wonderful, stunning male leopard approaching. Male leopard, male lion, what am I saying? I'm sorry. Oh, I think the screenshots are gonna be nice if he does come and drink, because we can see his reflection, the water's not moving, there's no wind. And here we go, the squirrels have spotted the lion and they're starting to call. Ding, 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 ding. Mm, well, aren't you kind enough to drink right there? I think a drink, a drinks break is very much deserved for this lion. He's been walking for quite a distance non-stop, so it's tiring, it's not easy being a lion. Now, like we said earlier on, the brothers have split up. Bobby, you're saying this is the first time you've seen a lion alive? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> um, we prefer them alive. <laughs> That's when we prefer them wild. <laughs> oh, you meant as in live streaming, thank you. I thought, Mel, uh, Max, you said alive, and I was like, okay. <laughs> Um, well, but that's great. I'm very happy you got to see some of our favorite male lions. These are the Birmingham boys, and they have been tough to find in the last um, a few weeks. I think we've all been struggling to find them. We find their tracks often, and we track them, track them, track them, and they seem to go into areas that we can no longer traverse in. So I think this morning we've been very, very lucky, guys. That's beautiful. Oh, I see the other brothers also coming out in the distance. Yeah, maybe he's also going to come and stop for a drink. Yeah, just coming straight through those bushes. He's just behind the bushes now, so we know we've got our spot. We're just going to sit tight here and just wait for them to come and have a drink with us. Maybe we should take a page from Byron's book and have a coffee break with the lions. <laughs> 
that would be quite nice considering my coffee has pretty much spilled all over the car Louis, you're saying you love the way they drink, how the tongue curls in the water it is quite amazing and they've done so many studies to try and figure out how cats actually drink because I always thought that they would put their tongue in and almost do a bit of a cup with their hands and then drink it up but it seems like although using some incredible photo technology it's actually been proven that what they do is they pretty much make the the tension of their tongue against the water brings a little bit of the water up and then they close their jaw to try and drink it is very crazy but it's, they definitely don't drink the way that I thought that they used to drink. You're looking a bit tired though, I must say. He's striding out of willpower, but I don't think he wants to carry on walking all that much. <laughs> He's got, almost got that look as in like, okay, I'm coming, but I'm tired now. I don't want to carry on walking. We've done our patrol. There are no other males around here. Enough now. Nice guys, very nice. Isn't that just just stunning? I think this is the best way to start a Sunday. What a sighting they have given us. <laughs> Vicky, you say that you think that the girls are going to win today. <laughs> well, Tristan will be very upset about me seeing male lions. Cheers, bye bye because um, he complains and he always says that male lions don't like him because whenever he comes or whenever he's on dry the male lions are not here so I will definitely rub this one in <laughs> more for personal gain than anything else <laughs> yeah I might I might be on the couch today though it's fine I've got two boys <laughs> hello so you see the way he's drinking Catherine, you see, you say that you love their black manes, yes, they've got very stunning manes at the moment, don't they? So you see how they're drinking, just what I wanted to mention earlier, it's a constant movement of the jaw and the tongue, so it's the tension of when he strikes the water and he pulls off a little bit of water, so before that water breaks off, sort of, from his tongue, then he's going to close his mouth and then that's where he's going to catch the water in. It's very incredible the way, the way that they drink. What a morning, guys. And Riddle, you say it's our lucky sighting today, or a lucky day, it's been a good sighting. Sorry, I got confused. <laughs> um, I think it has been, we've been so lucky and like I said, just the fact that they were pretty much on our doorstep at quarantine that we've been lucky to see them all around because normally they're quite hard to find and I'm sure you guys have seen us plenty when we go tracking and go 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 and their tracks just seem to lead somewhere else or they cross out before we, we actually have a chance to see them so I'm super excited that they're here. It's been a very lucky morning indeed, and I haven't seen male lions in quite a while, so... And these guys are just looking stunning, and every time I see them, their mane seems to be bigger. Which is a good sign of, of them being dominant. They are stunning creatures, aren't they? Now, if I could only wish for something else to add to this wonderful sighting, I would hope for them to roar pretty loudly. Now, I think this is our sighting about to be finished because they are slowly going to cross. <laughs> well, that was not the easiest path, was it? <laughs> I think someone got distracted there. He's gonna come right behind us, so it's a bit of a tricky spot at the moment for 7i because obviously I don't want to go back and get in his way. 
but we're gonna have a wonderful view. Sorry guys, he is literally right behind us, so there are parts of the car that are into view, but I think Seb is doing a great act of yoga. Yeah. <laughs> Some ab work this morning. <laughs> Alright, and now... <laughs> Swapping around. I think, let me go forward, and I think this is pretty much going to be it for us. But let's maybe enjoy the last few seconds. Let me go around quickly before we hand over the sighting to more people. Here we go. gonna come in front of us and I think that might be going to be it. Go. All right. Let's go on to the fire break and I think that's it guys. They are pretty much on the main road going straight south into Little Gauri where we know the females have been seen. So I think that's pretty much for us for the morning. Sorry, there's a bit of a lug here. And off they go. Ah, funny enough, they're pretty much at the exact same spot where Hosanna and Tandi were the other day. Hello, beautiful boy. Thank you for a very good morning. We appreciate it. And off they went in search of the girls. Well, it is quite funny to see the different attitude. I don't think they're going to carry on walking for too much longer. I could be mistaken, but I think they're starting to get a little bit tired now, just judging by the way that they're walking and how they started walking earlier on this morning. I think they were a lot more decided to carry on walking <laughs> earlier on. Perhaps also they're picking up the scent of the females. I can't see if maybe he's doing a bit of a Fleming grimace. And off they went. Whew. Catherine, you're saying bye-bye lions. I think that is the best thing we could say right now. Bye-bye lions and thank you very much for being so friendly and out and about this morning. We are very thrilled to have seen all of them. This 